Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, DJ Academics, right? Now, um, if y'all been following the page for a good enough time now, y'all know that we've been doing the King Von videos, we've been doing the videos um, surrounding his case that he has with Lil Durk. Um, and then not only that, but, you know, the, the foolishness that surrounds his death. You know, the things that doesn't make sense, we've been pointing them out. However, we've been a little exhausted because it, be it began being, like, repetitive. You know, and saying the same things, and you got people in the comments saying, oh, well, you're a conspiracy theorist, it is. It is what it is. So we kind of fell back from it. However, um, I'm actually kind of surprised that DJ Academics went as far as bringing awareness to, him, um, to this because he has a big platform. All right. So when he said, like, we could say things, our platform is fairly, you know, large as well. But he has like a big platform So when he says things It kind of shakes things up right And it gets people to ask some questions However whether we said it first or not It's just good to see people bringing awareness To certain things that don't make sense Now of course um, Give or take that is DJ Academics You gotta take it with a grain of salt Because you know You wanna see why this is now coming out You know And out of all people DJ Academics Why is he coming out saying this you know, but Act made some good points. And not only that, but this is something we've been preaching for the longest in our videos about this case. And everyone dismisses it or call us conspiracy theorists because they think it's so allegations. It ain't no way solely because of um, Dirk's persona. You know, however, here we are. Now, keep in mind that this case happened in 2019. We're now almost in 2023, roughly almost four years later, and that case is still going on, despite Dirk being seen on camera doing certain things. So when you ask a question like, well, you know, what happened to that case? What's going on with the case? How is it that every other high profile, uh, profile case that we see or that's in the news, we get updates on it, you know, back to back? Why haven't we got any updates, any court hearings, any information, any anything when it comes to this um case with Lil Dirt King Vaughn? A couple other members that people didn't even know was on this case because we just seen publicly King Vaughn and Lil Dirk. Now, right? Um, fast forward to years later, which is we in 2022 now. Other people who was on that case, such as King Vaughn, DJ uh Hellabands. And Beizu, coincidentally, something happened to every last one of them. Except for one. But Zu was arrested on weapons charges when he was busted along with another member, loading guns into a vehicle. King Vaughn was killed, and so was Hella Bands. And interesting enough, most people didn't even know that Beizu was a part of that case as well. But legal documents told us that he was, in fact, a part of it. Um, now, as far as what part he played in it, I'm not too sure, but his name is included in the documents. And once again, along with King Vaughn, Hellabands, and Dirk. It's just weird because a lot of people don't know that these guys were included in this case because publicly, all you seen was King Vaughn and Lil Dirk. Right? Now, also, shout out to her Educator. Y'all know we always show love up here. Right? He was the first person you know on youtube that i know to dive as deep as he did and went as far as calling the clerk's office and asking about the case right he used the docking number he used um dirk's real name and he requested to know when the next court date would be for the case 
And the lady flat out says that she don't see any available court date. There's no next court date. And she also stated that usually when there's no court date presented, it's because the case is still ongoing. Right? So what does that tell y'all? And here's the thing. If you've ever been in the streets, or not just in the streets, if you watch Law & Order or any of these court shows, when somebody does something um, and a case is going on, there's always... Listen, always a court date, you know, because you got to know when you got to report to court. You got to know what's going on with the case. <laughs> like, so what does that tell you? all Unless somebody is working. And I'm going to leave it at that. So let's talk about it. Right. Everyone acts oblivious to what's going on in that case or may have forgotten being that it was almost three years ago in 2019. But let's refresh our memory on what actually went down. Now, one article says that APD, which is Atlanta Police Department, stated that a witness described seeing Little Dirk, quote, pull out a gun. Then she ran around the building. She heard gunshots and later saw the victim laying in the pool of blood. So off rip, he was pointed out by eyewitnesses and they didn't say they saw him shoot, but they seen him do the closest thing to it, which was pull out the weapon. In which she heard shots and came back and seen him in a pool of blood. So ultimately, what does what do what does that mean? <laughs> now, not to mention that Act also pointed out, right, academics, that several surveillance cameras from surrounding businesses captured Mr. Banks, aka Lil Dirk, arm out the window firing shots. And y'all pay attention. Look, we gonna slow it down because I know somebody's like, oh, he's snitching for the slow ones in the back, because y'all know y'all be feeding the cold people a snitch. Right. All this is already public information. It was actually released via court documents in the first place. Right. And keep in mind, the victim allegedly snitched as well. So also in another article, it was stated that a detective and I think a lot of people forgot about this, but a detective flew all the way from Chicago just to testify against Dirk in Atlanta and stated that he's a well-known gang member that they themselves have been trying to capture in Chicago. So what does that tell you? They was already on him regardless. And speaking of that detective in that whole situation, whatever came out of that situation? Did it just go away mysteriously as well? What happened? Like, did they stop looking for him as soon as he got into this case, which don't happen? Usually if Chicago PD was looking for him and Atlanta got him, they either extradite him or, you know, whatever. But we would hear something. This man is too big of an artist not to hear something about when things like this go down. However, it's just being swept under the rug. Right now, academics also mentions that Dirk has three gun charges in Chicago and says in a sarcastic way, quote, somehow he's still free. And let me tell you something. What's done in the dark always going to come to light. Might not be today, might not be tomorrow, might not even be a year from now. But somehow, some way, the truth is going to come out. And it's but so long you can continue having people fooled before they begin asking questions. And I always tell y'all, don't take my word for it. Just do your own research and look into it yourselves and ask, does this make sense? Because this case has so many red flags that it's not even funny. Dirk's attorney, who was also dating trouble at the time, rest in peace. She was one of the officers King Vaughn recorded while on Instagram Live saying that her and her partner was harassing him for his ID. Why? What was she even doing at the airport with a badge? This is an attorney, right? This is his lawyer. This is who's representing, you know, Dirk. What was she doing, right? As this man's lawyer harassing his co-defendant at the airport. But after you ask yourself those questions, do your homework on who Nicole Mormon actually is. Now, when people ask me if I think Dirk is going to try um, and pin that case on King Vaughn, of course he is. <laughs> you know, that's a no-brainer. And this is why. Because suddenly you see all this Vaughn slander come out as soon as he passed. And you see Vaughn's name being mentioned in all these old murders that's starting to resurface out of nowhere. Why? Well, because they're trying to paint Vaughn as this menace 
So it's easier to pin everything on him in a court of law. It's as simple as that. And some people may have this theory where they say, well, it ain't snitching if he's dead, just like academic said, right? And the thing about that is that it's a double-edged sword because do it sound like the common sense thing to do when you're in a jam with somebody and they pass away? Yeah. But morally, morally, you know, with principles and values in, um, involved, nah, nah. Because the family still got to be there while you blame their loved one and deal with the scrutiny of their loved one's legacy being tarnished all because you're trying to get off on a charge. You know, it's like it's a lot of things that come in uh, intertwined with it. Like I said, if you're from the streets and, you know, you're doing dirt and you get caught up and somebody pass away, ultimately, the, the, the smart thing, I guess, to do is to blame it on them. I think the rapper from Brooklyn, New York, went through that as well, 22Gs, where he faced a lot of backlash himself after it's been reported that he allegedly blamed the body that he got in trouble for, I think in Miami or something like that, wherever he was, but he got in trouble for a homicide and they're saying that he allegedly blamed it on the guy that um, passed away and the guy that passed away um it was something separate but he just blamed it on whatever the case may be it was a separate situation that went on he ended up losing his life and they blamed the body on him matter of fact almost a similar situation <laughs> that's the crazy part now that i think about it but anyway um academics made a good point that i wanted to highlight the most right and academic stated that Dirk is playing a dangerous game because if he, along with his fans, think that him speaking in codes, right, and his music is enough to fool the feds, then he's sadly mistaken. Because they know exactly what's going on. And why? Because they get paid just to investigate and find out what's going on. And guess what? How many times have I said that here? <laughs> If you've been following this channel for a long enough time, how many times have I said that? You know, and the problem is that these young fans and these delusional people that think they're being so low and discreet, they're the problems. Because anyone with just an ounce of common sense would tell you, nah, y'all bugging. Not to mention, it's real people crashing out and going to jail or losing their life over this whole thing. All because of the foolishness that got dudes tricked into fake being loyal to something that they don't even understand what's going on. And if we from the outside are able to see it and identify what's going on, why can't they? Why can't they? Indictments is going on left and right. And these guys are still sitting here <laughs> throwing things on the internet, on social media, hinting, throwing subliminals like they know what's going on. Why would you do that? You know what's indictments going on. Why would you even want to act like you know what's going on when somebody get hurt or murdered or whatever the case may be? If any of my friends was in an indictment or anything, let me tell you right now, man. <laughs> Social media would be the last place I would be. All right, so like I said, um, y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel. I found this interesting because... Somebody as big as academics right now when it comes to the social media game and blogging world, for him to bring awareness to this and talk about it is actually surprising. I was surprised when he actually um, did a video on this, but it's just going to show that people are starting to wake up and ask questions. What's going on with that case? Let me tell you right now, if you or I was to do a crime such as that right now, attempted murder, attempted this or any of that, our case would be done like this. Especially with surveillance footage. Come on, man. So, I don't know. Y'all drop in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel. How y'all feel about the case? Um, Yeah, let me know what y'all got to say about it, man. Do y'all think that's some fishy going on in the background? Or maybe it's just the right. That's how it's supposed to go when it, um, with the court proceedings. Who knows? Y'all let me know how y'all feel, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.